of Lake Erie. The folks in Buffalo love their bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their bills will do battle with Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Murphy made the tackle. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you gain that kind of yardage against a defense, it's really kind of geared to stop that play. Your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. And he connects with Vance McDonald. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. They need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. And he's going to use his legs here. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Samuels, the ball carrier. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. from just shy of midfield. Roethlisberger, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. At their own two-yard line. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. Now the first carry for Zach Moss. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Allen going to try and throw on third down, and that's complete to Croft. And he is going to have a Bills first down, and he was able to get it by plenty, a gain of eight on third and three. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On the counter, this is Singletary. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. 
The tackle made by Joe Hayden. That's a gain of three. It's third and seven. The Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. They will run with Singletary. It was Joe Hayden, the former Pro Bowler, that came up to get him down. It's not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Throwing now is Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. I'm not sure if this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It can be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 32-yard line. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Allen rolling to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. First down. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have taken the early lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it over. You didn't turn it over, right? You're giving, it, giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now we've got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah. Yeah, there's always something bods to be gained from it. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Now, they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. On third down, Roethlisberger throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Roethlisberger with a pass complete to Claypool. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. Roethlisberger going to get that to Ebron. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he will have a Steelers first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. On first down, it's Samuels. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Steelers nothing. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Roethlisberger's pass. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five at the Bills' 18-yard line. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. This will be caught at about the 5. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. 
Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Brings up second and three at the five-yard line. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. Roethlisberger will throw. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Off the edge, Jerry Hughes gets the sack. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run stuff in variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, Quarterback. That's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. Boswell's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Three. Three. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, would, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. Boswell. Yeah, for the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now Allen. Short throw hauled in by Croft. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want to catch the football first. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Seven-yard line. They run the counter. Singletary. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. 
throwing is Allen on third. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 23. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Ebron with it over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. First down, Steelers. They go draw play. This is Samuels. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. Roethlisberger's pass complete to Jalen Samuels. He's taken out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. And the Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. Now Roethlisberger. Ebron caught left side. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Throwing on first down is Allen. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. At the 34-yard line. They'll run here with Singletary. And some space here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. To back good plays have them on the move on first down so they fake the handoff now Allen it's brought in complete it's John Brown and he is tackled inside the 40 not quite to the 35 another nice gain that's now 30 yards between those last two plays Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Operating from the gun, Allen. It's complete to Brown, right side. Seven yards, the pick up there. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 29-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On play action, Allen. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. 
So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. The Bills on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. On second and nine, Allen throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. And nine yards to go. The Bills on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This is third and nine. From the gun, Allen. The Steeler defense locked in, forcing an upcoming fourth down. Tyler, Tyler Bass, Bass out for the Bills field goal. goal. Oh, this will be, let's see, 38 yards out. The kick by Bass is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10 play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10 play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. just outside the goal line. Runs through the contact. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. At the 32-yard line. Roethlisberger got to get his guys to the line as quick as he can. Looking to throw again on second down. Roethlisberger. And this is going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Yards to go. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Gone. It's Roethlisberger. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Nifty move. Get it. Get 43 it. yards on the punt, return of four. And possession will switch hands first and 10. At their own 22-yard line. 
Allen now on first down. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. So the shotgun snap to Allen. His throw incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target, and it's third and short. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. Can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Allen going to try and throw on third down. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, You've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. And Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. The Steelers. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They'll bring out four receivers. Three of them being sent to the left, one to the right, second and four. Final play of the half, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Not much has changed since we left you at halftime. The snow still continuing to fall as we are back underway. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 24. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 30-yard line. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. On the ground, it's Singletary. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call. And they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. Well, Bill send the punter out as he's on to kick it away.
A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Running to start the drive is Samuels. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Roethlisberger. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. It's a first down on a gain of 10. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside and break it inside. Really well run route. They'll run on first down. Samuels. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. This is Samuels, and he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and 10. A nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. A three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Now it's Roethlisberger. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Trent Murphy drops him for a loss of 10. And it's going to be fourth and long. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Their own 25-yard line. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. 
But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's good. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first down, Singletary. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. From just shy of midfield. Allen out to it, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. T.J. Watt coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield, so they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They had more guys there than they could block. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try to get some points. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six at the 28-yard line. Here's Samuels. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. To throw here, Roethlisberger. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Second and 10 now. It's Roethlisberger. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. It's a gain of six. And it's third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Throwing again. It's Roethlisberger. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll get nine out of that one. And as a result, the drive continues.
So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. Here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game the play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Brings up second and three at the Bills' five-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On the carry, it's Samuels. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. This is caught. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in. Even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line, they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back, tell them to take care of the ball, and try to move forward. Steps away. He's going to take off with it. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And now they'll throw with Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. On third and long, it's Allen. 
And this is going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at the 45. He'll set up the throw from the gun. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 47-yard line. Now here's a throw that's complete, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. And the Steeler first down. Roethlisberger. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. That catch good for only a couple. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Again, it's Roethlisberger. That one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. And it's third down. To throw again is Roethlisberger. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And this is too far behind his man. He missed him. It's incomplete. He was covered by Josh Norman. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This from 54 yards away. And he's going to miss this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and 10. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before loss yarded. Terrific read better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. It's a gain of six. Brings up third and five. The Bills on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and five. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. The Bills send the punter out. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. The Steelers take over first. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. At 28 yards. That's good for 28 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 32-yard line. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 19. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves his sticks. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. From 19 yards away. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Moss. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. One thing that makes him so tough in these two-minute drills, you got to take into consideration he's mobile. And that's a big plus for him, but he also has to be careful with that mobility. Sometimes getting rid of the ball and stopping the clock is more important than running around and maybe taking a sack. To throw is Allen. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Stefan Tuitt able to shake free and get home for the sack. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Allen. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. 
Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They're going to run for it. It's Moss. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. No dice for Sean McDermott in the offense. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. Not much there, only a yard. He steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. Now they almost intercepted it. If they haven't picked a ball off yet, that probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Yards to go. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Now it's Roethlisberger. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Connor. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now Connor. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Second down now. It's Connor. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This no gimme in the snow. And he nailed it. It's good. Through the snowflakes, he finds a way to get it to go. And the Steelers have won the game. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. Now we just have to deal with a snow-filled parking lot as we say so long from Buffalo. I'm just looking forward to getting warm.